Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this tutorial, I want to introduce you to the basics of masking in Photoshop. You cannot use Photoshop without an understanding of masking. Now, what is a mask? A mask is a black and white image that determines the transparency of your layer. And black conceals, white reveals. Remember that. Black conceals, white reveals. So in a mask, the white parts reveal your layer and the black parts conceal or hide or make transparent your layer. All right, if you wanna follow along, I have included a link in the description of this video with the PSD file that I use to explain these concepts. Go ahead, download that, and then let's dive into Photoshop. All right, let's do Command O. That'll bring up our open dialog. And I want to select the Mass Tutorial PSD, and we're going to open this. And let's go ahead and turn off all of our layers except for the forest background. We're doing that by just clicking on the eyeball icon. All right, now we're going to select our Deer layer and turn on the eyeball. And then down here in our contextual taskbar, you're going to see this select subject. We're going to click on that. And now I want to introduce you to the concepts of mass. Now, one thing I want you to ingrain in your head is black conceals, white reveals. So let's go ahead and click on this mask icon. And right away, you can see that everything is hidden but what was in our selection. And you can also see that right next to our layer is this new layer that's a mask. And I'm going to right mouse click on this. And you can see here we have some options. But what I want to do is I want to look at just the mask by itself. So to do that, I'm going to hold either Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and then click on the mask thumbnail. And now you can see the mask by itself. And this will give you an idea of how a mask works. So with a mask, Everything that's black will be hidden, meaning transparent on the layer, and everything that's white will show up at 100%. So now if we turn on our layer normally, you can also just option click on the thumbnail again to get us out of that mask view. You can see that our mask is hiding the background that was originally behind this deer. All right, now let's turn on our branch. And here I want to do the same thing. I want to select the subject and then add a mask. But after I've done this, you're going to see that Photoshop missed a few things. So what we want to do is we want a better selection to begin with. So let's go to our history, go back to select subject and click on deselect. And what I want to do is I want to select all the white. So let's go to our magic wand tool. And I'm going to take our tolerance down to five. That way it only selects things that are basically white. And I want to turn off contiguous. Contiguous means the white that I'm selecting has to be connected to another white. And the problem with that is we have these holes here where there's, you know, they're kind of, if you consider this uh, land and the white ocean, this would be a lake. So we want to turn off contiguous, and then we're going to click on the white. And you can see that it's now selected everything that's white. The problem is if I add a mask, it'll keep everything that's in the selection and hide the branches. There's two ways around this. If I click on this mask icon, I can actually hold down option when I click it, and it'll hide my selection, meaning turn it black, instead of turning it white. I'm going to undo that, and I want to show you one other way to do it, and that's to first click on this, which will invert your selection, and then click on this, and that'll give you your mask. So there you go. We can now put this somewhere up here. And there you can see how we can use masks in Photoshop. And that'll give you a basic idea of 
what masks are. Now, the one other thing I want to show you in terms of masks is that they don't have to be black and white. They can also be gray. So let's go ahead and add a solid color layer. Now, a solid color layer is, as you guessed it, just a solid color. So I'm going to make this kind of a bluish color, pretty light. So something like this, and we're going to hit OK. Now you'll notice that the entire mask is white and I don't want that. I want the entire mask to be black. So I can select the mask and then go to image adjustments and invert, which is command I. So instead of using the menu, let's just use command I. Now our mask is black. So none of this blue is showing, but let's go to our gradient tool and I want to select the classic gradient. The difference between these is that gradient tool creates a dynamic gradient. The classic gradient just creates pixels depending on your settings. So I want the classic gradient here. I want to make sure it's on the radial. And then here, I want to go to basic and select this middle one, which is foreground to transparent. Then I want to change my foreground color to white. So it's going from, from white to transparent. And then on this black, we're going to do just behind him, we'll do a gradient. So now you can see this blue color is appearing softly behind him, going from fully visible to fully transparent in a smooth gradient. So there you can see the benefit of mass is I have all this control and without these masks, these would just look like this. Basically three images just stacked on top of each other. So you can see the masks are doing the heavy lifting. Now I could in theory, just delete all this, delete the white, but the problem with that is it's destructive. Meaning I can never go back. If I decided, you know what? I kind of like this grass down here. And I wanted to keep that. Well, if I deleted it, I couldn't. But with my mask, if I wanted to, all I have to do is go on my mask, grab a brush, and with white as my color, paint in down here. And what used to be in the image will now appear again. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. But you get the idea. With a mask, I can basically erase and unerase at will whenever I want. If I'm not using a mask, when I erase, it's gone forever. All right, so that's the basics of masking. We're gonna get more into masks and how to use them and so forth as we progress, but I want you to understand what masks are and if there's anything you take away from this lesson, it should be black conceals, white reveals. Black conceals, white reveals. So there you have it. That is the basics of masking in Photoshop. And if there's one thing I want you to take away from this lesson, it's that black conceals, white reveals. That's a good mnemonic device that you can use to understand masks a little bit better. Now, next week, we're going to be covering the basics of blending in Photoshop. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you see that tutorial when it comes out. Also, if you're interested in professional training in Photoshop, check out Nucle.com. I sell professional training as well as resources and assets for Photoshop users like you. So check that out. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.